In an absurd turn of events, the party that claims to support cannabis legalization had one of their candidates step down last week because she made pro-pot comments on social media two years ago. The Liberal Party of Canada announced Thursday that Joy Davies, candidate in the BC riding of South Surrey White Rock, resigned after she made some controversial pro-cannabis comments online. On Facebook, Davies said that cannabis doesn't harm youth, a view that has been given credence in recent studies, and that the plant decreases domestic violence, which is also backed up with scientific evidence. Additionally, Davies wrote that the Canadian Cancer Society is an outlet for Big Pharma, an opinion that shouldn't have a candidate removed, especially when a convincing case can be made for this view. However, other comments made by Davies in a recent Huffington Post interview are more controversial. For example, she said that smoking cannabis during pregnancy is safe. While this may seem counterintuitive because of the known effects of tobacco on fetuses, once again, there are scientific studies showing her assertion to be true. In fact, while studies on this are nearly impossible to undertake in Western countries because of strict laws, it's customary for pregnant women in Jamaica to use cannabis to alleviate negative symptoms, and the tradition hasn't been found to harm babies in utero. In a statement, the Liberal Party said Davies' views in no way reflect the values or policies of the party. Liberal leader Justin Trudeau repeated the position in Vancouver, saying we need to control and regulate marijuana in order to protect our kids. The views expressed by the individual in question do not reflect the views of the Liberal Party of Canada, and certainly do not reflect my personal views. However, Davies told the Huffington Post that party officials knew her views because she had to go through an extensive vetting process. Davies added that cannabis wasn't the focus of her campaign, but she simply wants to let people realize that this is about dignity. Governments need to allow us our dignity as human beings. Regardless, while her comments may be controversial to some, they have scientific backing. Furthermore, Davies does not advocate selling cannabis to kids. She supports the Liberal policy wholeheartedly. In the Facebook post describing her resignation, Davies even said that she believes in the work that the Liberal team is doing, and she doesn't want her personal opinion and past comments to distract from what is most important right now, ensuring all Canadians receive the real change and new leadership they deserve. Davies isn't the only candidate to resign or be let go for past social media comments. All of the other major parties have removed contenders from the ticket during this year's campaign for controversial comments and other gaffes. While it makes sense to remove a candidate for peeing in a stranger's coffee cup, like conservative candidate Jerry Bantz was caught doing, it doesn't make sense to fire them or force them to resign because of controversial personal beliefs, especially when those views are backed by scientific evidence.